It's Saturday night and we got four games for you to enjoy. Let's see what's good. My name is Andrea Sachinka and you're watching Daily KHL Update. We make our first stop in Nizhny Novgorod with Torpedo Mid Locomotive without their head coach Igor Lironov, who is currently in Detroit celebrating the 25th anniversary of the 1997 Red Wings Championship title. And the Bucks are not gonna have a night to remember in his absence. Alexander Yelesin takes a hard shot six minutes in and the puck goes in of Artur Kayumov. Loco improved their lead with a power play tally early in the second. 2011 World Junior Champ Andre Sergei finds his target while Kayumov draws an assist. Late in the period, Captain Sergei Andronov corrals the puck and shoots from the circle and Igor Kashkov gets his lumber on it. They put it away early in the third as Artur Melyanko gets a lucky bounce and shows no mercy. Daniel Asaya faces just 17 shots and earns his third shot out of the year. Loco take it 4-0 on the road. We're off to snowy Yekaterinburg now where severe challenge after Mobilist. There's very little scoring in this one. Brooks Masek puts the host in the lead meter through the first as he sieves it through Dennis Kostin for his 15th of the year. Snowflakes tie it up on the meter through the third. Nico Tchaikovsky goes top shelf on Yukon Matsun after rookie Victor Nauja fumbles the puck in the neutral zone. He goes to the shootout and Sibir wins the extra point as they convert on three of their four attempts. After Belize still lead the season series 2-1 though, even after they fall 2-1 on home ice. And now to Nizhnikov Square, Nefta Kimik defend the ice against Salavat Ilayev. The team's great goals late in the first. Ilya Kaklov converts on a power play to put the Wolves in the lead. And 20 seconds later, Alexei Postazorov steals the puck, takes a quick shot and roofs it past Yaroslav Azalin. 1-1 after 20. Salavat grabbed the lead early in the second. Alexander Kadekin taps it home from the doorstep and the goal's gonna count as Kadekin was pushed into the goalie. The house got back even just a few minutes later as Pavel Paradin scores a shorty for his 10th goal of the year. But Salavat scored the eventual game winner in the last minute of the period. Ivan Drozdov beats Azalan on the glove side and that's all they're gonna need. Salavat beat Nefzakimik for the second straight time this year. 3-2 is your final. Our last game for the night is easily the best. Top team of the league, SKA St. Petersburg, welcome the top team of the East, Mandalorian. It's a clash of the titans and it's worth every penny. The Versus grab the lead less than two minutes in. SKA give up a three-on-one rush. Brandon Leipzig dishes it over to Nikita Kurostilov and former Peter Morafit scores his eighth of the season. Two minutes later, Mandalorian double their lead as Maxim Karpov is given all kinds of room in the slot. SKA are down two nothing less than four minutes into the game. But there's no panic. Alexander Nikishin scores twice to even it up. First, he squeezes it through Vasily Koshchkin to make it 2 1. And then he scores his second of the night and six of the year with a quick shot of a one draw. And just like that, it's a 2 2 hockey game. St. Petersburg get him the lead in the following shift. Andre Pedan has a goal from the point, and Captain Dmitry Yashkin takes care of the rebound. But get this, Manolik level it before the intermission. With just six ticks remaining on the clock, Daniela Yurov scores with a bank shot from behind the goal line. Six goals in the first, none in the second, and the winner comes mid to the third. The Harbour Dakov beat Valentin Zika for his peaks of the year, and SPA beat Manolik at home ice for the first time since pre-pandemic. 4-3 is your final in St. Petersburg tonight. And that's it for Adele KHL update, but do come back tomorrow for another set of four games, including Akbars against Saristel and Avangard versus Vitas. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to check back with us this Sunday.